Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So this here is the Level 8 Atlas TSA Friendly Compact Backpack and this one comes in one size only and it can fit up to a 17 inch laptop. They have another backpack that has a very stealthy look with a smaller handle but they don't have it in stock. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check that one out. So the backpack has an overall rough yet flexible texture that is water resistant so it will keep your items well protected in case you accidentally spill water on it. The bottom of the backpack features an anti-scratching leather material that's a very nice touch. Turning the backpack over, there's some thick back padding that has some airflow gaps to keep your back cool. The shoulder strap has a bit of padding in sort of sections. From a glance I thought it wouldn't be comfortable but after wearing it, these shoulder straps are one of the most comfortable ones I have used. They kind of have a stretchy feel to them and it turns out it's because they actually have stretchy sections at the top. I didn't even know that was a thing and it has made me want it on all my backpacks. Carrying to the top of the backpack, there's two handle straps and I'm not sure why there's two. The main one is very big that has a plastic cover over the braided steel cable. I prefer the handle look of their other backpack that's much smaller. I'm not into handles that stand out too much, but nonetheless it's comfortable and it's a very sturdy handle. So starting with the front compartment, the first thing I notice is that the zipper glides very easily so it has some very good quality zippers. The front pocket is quite big so you can store a few items in there and I will most likely be putting my charging cable for my laptop in there. There are also some smaller pockets to help you keep organized. There's one long zipper mesh pocket that would fit a calculator, a power bank, or cables. Next to that you get two pencil holders, and next to that is a deep narrow pocket that looks like it can fit a small power bank, and I will try that in a bit. The last pocket has some cards, so apparently this backpack was exclusive only to Apple stores at some point, as per the description on this card. But now you can find it on Amazon, and I have a link to it in the description, and you can also check off a little box on Amazon that will give you a 10% discount. Moving on. There's a pocket for your sunglasses or reading glasses up above the front pocket. It is big enough to put two of them in there, or in my case, some earphones. You can also put some cables or SD cards or something that you want to access really quick. So now to the main pocket, at the very bottom of the backpack is a small padding that you can put down which can help your backpack sit on its own without tipping over. It also has some cushions so if you drop some tech in there, it will have some protections for if and when you toss your backpack around. It was difficult to show you on camera because it was pretty dark in there, but it's just a flap that you can put up or down. In the main compartment, there's a separate small sleeve that fits up to a 10.5 inch iPad and it has a buckle strap to secure it in there so in case you do toss your backpack around, the tablet will stay in place. And you can also just store some other things like a small notebook in case you want to keep it separate from your other items. And across that, there's a long zipper mesh pocket where you can store some more cables or other smaller items. Now to the laptop compartment. This opens 180 degrees, making it easy to go through checkpoints. There's a sleeve here where you can store some documents or even a thin tablet. There's some shock absorbing padding on the laptop sleeve so that it can keep your laptop protected in case you bump your backpack against the wall. The laptop sleeve is also an inch lifted from the bottom of the backpack so your laptop doesn't hit the ground when you drop it in there. And your laptop can easily be accessed by opening the backpack halfway and sliding the laptop up. Now moving on to the side pockets, you can fit a water bottle in there or a soda or you can just put some smaller gadgets in there and then zip it up so you can use it for multiple purposes. So that is pretty cool. Alright so now I will carry on to what I carry on my backpack daily as a student so you can get an idea of the type of items it can carry as well as how it will look when it gets full. So I will be starting off with the main compartment and this is where I will be putting my Surface Pro tablet which I will be using to take notes in class using OneNote. I recently posted a video on it and you can check it out by clicking the link up here. Next up I will be putting my 1 inch binder with some engineering paper and also to put my homework in and also store some handouts. Now moving on, on the mesh zipper pocket I will keep my USB type C charging cables as well as a micro USB cable which I will be able to quickly access from. So I'm done with that compartment. Now moving up to the glasses pocket, I will be putting my Bluetooth earphones which I lost a case for so I'll just toss them in there. I like to use the glasses pocket because I can quickly access my earphones without having to move stuff around. I will also be keeping my completely wireless gears icons in there. I will also add in my backup wire earphones for when I forget to charge both of my Bluetooth earphones. And this time around I will carry some sunglasses in there. I normally tend to keep them in my car. But this is just to show that it can fit a lot of small items in there. And there's still some room left for other items but then it will just get messy. So now we'll move on to the front pocket. I don't carry over the head earphones with me but you can easily fit some in this pocket if they fold. If they don't then you can just fit them inside the main compartment. I will start off with the smaller pockets inside. 
The pocket that had the cards will be where I keep one of my external hard drives with some video files. So the pocket with the velcro strap does fit a power bank and it fits perfectly. It's just a tiny bit taller as the strap doesn't close but that's okay. Now I will put my second external SSD in the long zipper match pocket where I keep most of my videos in. In the two pencil holders I will keep my black pen and my mechanical pencil in. For my blue and red pen I will put them in the zipper mesh pocket. For the last item in this compartment I will drop in my laptop charger. Now on one of the side pockets I will store my Surface Pro charger which fits perfectly. On the other pocket I will keep my Surface Precision mouse which is a huge mouse but it still manages to fit inside that pocket. And when I carry a water bottle I will toss it in the front pocket. Now for the last item that I will put in my backpack, I will slide in the 15.6 inch HP Spectre X360 laptop which still has been performing excellent after one year and one week of using it for 6 days a week. There's some wiggle room left since it can fit up to a 17 inch laptop and there's about 1 inch of space left between my laptop and the padding. So that is everything I will carry in this backpack as I head back to fall classes next week. So overall, the backpack is very comfortable to carry around. The stretchy strap is a very awesome touch. I will keep you guys updated in the comments section on how it holds up after 6 months of using it as I am curious to see if it will keep its form. The backpack also has a nice compact look. It's not that big but it can store all my essential items that I like to use. The only thing I would change on the backpack if I could would be the top handle. I would trade it in for a smaller handle from their other backpack which I really wanted to test out as it had a much stealthy look to it. With all that being said, I would recommend this backpack for business and even for school use. So that does it for today's review. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you found the video helpful. Subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.